In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a directory on your Squarespace site. So what you're looking at here is our uh, Squarespace template directory at sqspthemes.com. And the way it works is um, I'm using a plugin called the Universal Filter plugin from squarewebsites.org. There's a link below this video so you can check it out. And I'm also using the Lazy Load Summary Block plugin as well. Uh, to create this functionality. Now the filter allows me to um, sort by platform here. I've got categories, uh, the designers. I can even sort by price uh, and I can search uh, the directory here as well. Now the way this directory is set up, uh, when you click on a link it goes to that particular template page. Uh, but all of the all of the content here is in a blog called templates and each post has uh, categories tagged tags tagged um, got the price and the excerpt block here uh, and because these are in some cases affiliate links uh, the, the post title links directly to the source URL and all of that now in a summary block on the home page. So let me open this up because this will give you a little insight into how to use the plugin. Okay, so here's our summary block here. As you can see, it's a, a regular grid style summary block. But when the plugin is enabled on the page, then uh, it allows for that styling. Now, Customizing this plugin, uh, there's a lot of uh, documentation on all of the different fields that you can uh, customize. Um, there's also a, a Slack support group uh, that squarewebsites.org offers. And if you ever run, in, run into any trouble, uh, you can get help there. Uh, the developer's name is Michael, and he's uh, very helpful in that regard. Um, but yeah, let me open up and show you my settings here. Oops, that was not the way to go. Um, one more step. <laughs> here we go. All right, so uh, not to intimidate you here, but uh, here's here's the code and the documentation allows tells you everything you need to you know customize right so for example um, I currently have my filter position on the left but it may be top maybe on the right, right? Um, it's aligned left but I can align it differently um, I don't show the amount of items though I could maybe we can make this true in real time and uh, I don't keep the drop downs open, but I could. And I could uh, keep specific drop downs open when the page loads. And so there's a number of other uh, tweaks here that you can make, uh, but it works great right out the box as well. So there you go. Um, see, I've made that true. Now I can see the number of items. Uh, 307 have loaded, and we can scroll through. 1 through 124 until we get to our button here where we'll load more templates and this functionality is added by the uh, lazy load summary block so there you go um, this is how you can create a directory for your Squarespace website uh, very uh, quick and easy if you'd like an alternative there is something called community box which I believe was created with Squarespace users in mind. Um, I haven't actually tried this out yet, but it has some good recommendations. And uh, it could also give you some, some similar functionality as well. Um, but as you can see here, I've gone with uh, these couple plugins and it has served me well for, I think we've been using this for at least three or four years now. So take care.